Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how you can leverage policies to determine how vRealize Operations Manager will display data, views, and reports for a particular object. In simple words we can say, Policies defines the amount of data for an object is analyzed and displayed by vRealize Operations Manager. In this demonstration, I will be creating a customer policy to generate alerts based on new threshold defined for a specific group of virtual machines. Let's log in to vRealize Operations Manager console. As we can see, there is an high write latency alert is generated for a VM once latency go beyond 30 milliseconds. As Ubuntu VMs are test VMs, high latency is expected for them and we don't want to see any alerts for these VMs. We can define a custom policy for individual VMs, but to simplify, let's leverage custom group to group these Ubuntu VMs. We will assign the custom policy to this group to make the things easy. The group membership will get updated automatically if in case new VM added to the environment. Let's create a new custom group. Type in the name of the custom group, let's call it Ubuntu Virtual Machines. Choose the appropriate group type. Check Keep Group Membership up to date. This will get the new Ubuntu VMs added to the group once created and admin don't need to do it manually. Choose the object type that matches the criteria. As we are defining the custom policy for Ubuntu Virtual Machines, select Virtual Machines as object type. Choose object name as we want to add all the virtual machines that have Ubuntu in their name. Click on preview to validate all the required VMs are part of this group. Once confirmed, select OK to create the new custom group. Next step is to modify the threshold the alert from 30 milliseconds. In this demonstration, instead of modifying the existing alert, I will be creating a new alert and define the threshold. Under Alerts tab, Select Alert Settings and choose System Definition. To search the specific symptom definition, let's choose Filters. We can see, 30 milliseconds is the threshold defined for disk write latency at critical level for object type as virtual machine. Instead of modifying the existing symptom definition, let's clone the symptom definition to a new one and modify the threshold. Let's change disk write latency to 60 milliseconds at critical level. Next step is to create a new alerts definition. As done earlier, instead on modifying the default, let's clone the alert definition and add the new symptom definition to it. Search the alert you want to clone. Select the alert and click on clone button. Choose the name you want for new cloned alert. Delete the default critical alert from the symptoms list. Click on Add Symptom tab. Drag the clone alert to the system definition lists. Click on Save to save the changes. The last step is to create a custom policy. Go to Administration tab can click on Policies. We can see a default listed under Active Policies. To create a new custom policy, go to Policy Library and click on Add New Policy button. Type in the name for new policy. You can choose the base policy from the list of policies. In this video, I have selected vSphere Solution Default Policy as base policy. Click on Alert. Symptom Definitions. In this policy, we will disable the default alerts for disk latency and will be using the new symptoms and alerts. Let's disable to default symptom and alert. Once done save the changes in the new custom policy. As of now, new custom policy is not binded to any group or objects. Let's bind the policy to Ubuntu Virtual Machines group we created earlier. To validate click on affected objects.
As the default policy have two alerts configured to monitor different latency, we need to disable the new custom alerts and symptoms in the default policy. Let's disable the new alerts and symptom in the default policy. Under alerts we can validate, there is no high disk latency critical alert is listed for Ubuntu VMs. This concludes the demonstration of leveraging custom policies to control the Realize Operations Manager to collects and reports data for specific objects in your environment. Hope this will be informative for you. Please do share, like and comment if you find worth sharing it. Thanks for watching the video. Happy learning!